Hi and welcome to category 11 of mini program challenges. In this category, we have 10 questions or 10 mini program which are related to date and time objects in Python. Right now, you can see the timestamp for all the questions in this category. And I'm going to give you five seconds to go ahead and take a look at it. Let's go ahead and let's get started with the very first question. It says, print current date and time in Python. I'm going to give you three seconds to pause the video and next you're going to see my solution. So let's go ahead and let's just dive into the solution. I'm going to import from the time module. I'm going to import uh, GM time. And I'm also going to import the strf time. Now I've dedic I had dedicated uh, a complete section for date and time, so I'm not going to dive into too much detail. I'm also going to import uh, the date and time as well. Now what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to say um, first I'm going to print the current date and time. So I'm going to say date time dot uh, date time so I'm gonna say date time oops dot date time and I'm gonna say dot now this is gonna give us the current date and time okay no module date time oh data time sorry about that this is mistyped data all right there we go let's save it let's run it again and now we should be able to see our date and time. This is the current date and time. If we want to print only the time, what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab all of that, put it right here, and I'm going to call the time function on that. This is only going to give us the current time. Uh, and um, uh, there is another method that we can do the same thing. This is method two, and that is using the strf time. So strf time, and I'm going to pass in the format that we want our year, then our uh, month. So I'm going to do m and our day. There we go. Uh, right after that, I'm going to provide a space, and I'm going to provide the format for the hour, for the minute, as well as for the second. There we go. And I'm going to say GM time. Let's go ahead and let's save that. Let's run that. There we go. So this is another format. And this way you can format the current date and time better. With this, the first question comes to an end. And I'm going to crack open the second one. The second one says convert string into a date time object. So go ahead, pause the video and See you in three seconds. So how was the challenge? I am sure you did great. I'm going to say this is our uh, date string that we need to convert it into a date time object. So I'm going to say from date time, come on, date time, I'm going to import uh, the date time uh, function itself. So date time there we go so after that this is our string right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a date time object so i'm going to say date time underscore obg this is equal to date uh, date time dot strp time and i'm going to pass in the date string that we have date string and then i'm going to provide the format that i want it to be in so i'm going to say b uh, D, this is going to be year, year is capital, then I'm going to provide I, this is really difficult, you know what, I'm just going to copy paste the entire thing that, uh, I'm just going to say that I want it to be in this format, so if I run that, what do we have here, oh, we didn't print anything, so let's print the date, uh, time OBG, let's save that and let's go ahead and print it. So here, what do we have? We have this 2020 uh, uh, to 25. We could change it to any date that we want, like 2300. 
and I'm going to save it and it is going to be changed to that date. This is a datetime object, but this is a string, right? So this is it for question number two. Moving on to question number three. So it says subtract a week, seven days from a given date in Python. I'm just going to remove the last bit of it. So what you need to do is subtract seven days from this date. Uh, so go ahead, pause the video, and see you after three seconds. I'm going to copy this given date. I'm going to copy that, paste it right here. And what, which module do we need to import? Again, from date time, import date time, and also the time delta. I'm going to import time delta as well. So we have our uh, given date. Now, this is the given date. How many days do we want to subtract? So I'm going to say days to subtract. That is seven. And I'm going to say resulting, resulting date is equal to the given date that we have minus time delta. I'm going to pass in the days as uh, days as uh, days to subtract. Where is that fun uh, that variable days to subtract? And that's it. So I'm going to say print resulting date. Let's go ahead and let's save that and run it. So it was 25 of February and now it is 18th of February. Very cool, right? So let's move on to question number four where it says print a date in the following format day name day number month name and then year print this name uh, this date sorry in this format so pause the video and see you after three seconds now i'm going to grab this these two and i'm going to put them right here first uh, we need to import from the date time we need to import data and then we have our given date, right? So let's bring this given date up. This is our given date. It's 15, 12, uh, 2100. Now, I'm going to say print uh, given date dot strf time. And then I'm going to say let's format it. So the format is going to be day name, then day number, month name, and then year. So to be able to do that formatting here is the string that we need let's save that let's go ahead and let's run it uh there we go so uh it's it is the day name day number month name and year wednesday 15th december 2100 with this question number four comes to an end moving on to question number five Find the day of the week of a given date. Pause the video, attempt the challenge, and see you after three seconds. First off, what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and import date from date time, import date time, and this is our given date. So we want to find the weekday, right? That was that the question? Yeah. The day of the week. And um, I'm going to say print, print given underscore date dot today. And I'm going to say dot weekday. This is going to give us the weekday. So let's go ahead and let's run it. It says weekday is four, but to get the English name for it, we need to use the strf time. So print uh, given date given date dot strf time and i'm going to pass in a format so i'm going to say percentage sign capital a and let's run it it's for it's wednesday very awesome moving on to question number six it says add a week seven days and 12 hours to a given date so pause the video and see you after three seconds now, the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to import date time and I'm also going to grab our given date and write it right here. 
Now we need to add seven days. So I'm going to say days two at, this is going to be equal to seven. It's exactly like that. We have imported time delta as well. So resulting, resulting date is equal to given date. Um, this is going to be plus time delta. And for the time delta, we need to add the days, right? But keep in mind that we need to add those 12 hours as well. So I'm going to pass in the days to add. And then hours is going to be equal to 12. All right. So let's save that. Let's print the resulting. What is that date? Cool. Let's run that. So we can see that it says it's 10 o'clock. Right now it is 12 hours. It's 2200. Uh, and uh, this is how it is uh, how you can add 12 hours to 10 o'clock very cool very very cool so moving on to question number seven it says print current time in milliseconds so go ahead pause the video and you're going to see my solution after three seconds now to be able to print the current time in milliseconds I'm going to import the time module and I'm going to say milliseconds just to make it more readable uh, I'm going to say I'm going to convert it to an integer round it off time dot time and then we are going to multiply it by 1000 perfect print milliseconds run that this is the current time in milliseconds each time I run this it's going to be different now you can see it's uh, six, uh, 8562 it is 3317 question number eight states that uh, we should convert the following date time into a string so this is a date time object converted into a string go ahead pause the video you're going to see my solution after three seconds first things first I'm going to import the date time and from there I'm going to import the date time again and I'm going to say string date this is equal to the given date dot strf time and I need to specify the format as well which is really time consuming to type that is the format the year the date and the time format and I'm going to say print string date. I'm also going to print the type of the string date just to make sure we are on the same page. And this is the string date and it says class str. It in fact is a string object. Question number nine says we need to calculate the date four months from the given date. So calculate the date four months from this given date. Go ahead, pause the video, and after three seconds, you're going to see my solution. Now for this particular example, I'm going to use the Python date util uh, module. Uh, then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add four months into the given date using a relative delta. That is something that we should do. The relative delta is useful when we want to deal with months, uh, with uh, days, and it will also properly adjust the days for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import our dependencies. We have date time, date time. From the date util relative delta, I'm going to import relative delta. So to this date, I need to add four months. And it should adjust the days as well because some months they have 31 days, some months they have 30 days. So it should be able to adjust as well. So I'm going to say months to add. This is going to be equal to four. The new date is going to be equal to the given date plus relative delta. And I need to add the months. So I'm going to say months months and I'm gonna say months to add very cool 
now the only thing else that we need to do is we actually need to go ahead and print the new date let's save that let's see if that works okay there we go so we have we are at the uh 2035 520 we are 2035 920 so that's how, how this actually works very cool moving on to the final question it says calculate number of days between two given dates this is actually a really really cool uh, example and i really like this one so as usual pause the video attempt the challenge and you're going to see my solution after three seconds now we have two dates right but for that to be able to deal with time i'm going to import date time and i'm going to say i'm going to create a variable delta I don't need I don't know the uh, name of it but I do want to declare it that is the definition of the non special type which we have gone over right I'm going to say f delta uh, delta 1 oh sorry date 1 date 1 is greater than date 2 then what do I want to do I'm going to print date uh, let's just providing quotes date one is greater and I'm going to say delta is going to be equal to date one uh, minus date two Th this is because we don't want to end up with a negative date else it means that date one is less than date two or date two is greater so grabbing these two I'm going to print them here I'm going to say date 2 is greater and date 2 minus date 1. So delta is date 2 minus date 1. And finally, the only thing else that we should do is, let's just remove these spaces a little bit. And the only thing else that I should do is to be able to just print. I'm going to say the difference, uh, number of days, I'm just going to say number of days. Uh, this is equal to delta dot days that's it so let's go ahead and let's run it um, there we go it says d2 is greater that is cool and the number of days between 2015 25th of february the year 2050 all the way to 19 17th of what is the ninth month is it september yeah 9, 17th of September 2065 is 5,683 days. With this, our entire category of date, time, challenges, or mini programs comes to an end. See you in the next category.